Well, good morning and praise the Lord. Welcome today to our daily Bible study here at COC TV. We're so glad that you could join us today and we're going to go right into our study once again today for just a few moments. We've been looking into the book of Psalms and um, let me just read this morning starting in verse 1. It says, Why does the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves, the rulers take counsel against the Lord, against his anointed, saying, Let us break the bands asunder and cast away their cords from among us. And he that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh, and the Lord shall have them in diversion. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath, and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set, set my king upon my holy hill Zion, and I will declare the decree the Lord has said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possessions. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron, thou shalt dash them into pieces like a potter's vessel. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way, when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are they that put their trust in him. We have been in Psalms chapter number 2 uh, this week, and today is going to be the last day of chapter number two and we're going to pick up in verse eight on down to verse 12 and it says and ask of me and i shall give thee the heathen for an inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possessions thou shalt break them with a rod of iron thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel be wise now therefore o ye kings be instructed, you judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. And verse 12 says, Kiss the son, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way. When the wrath is kindled, but a little, blessed are they that put their trust in the Lord. In verse number 8, the father adds, he says, Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for your inheritance and the earth, the ends of the earth for your possessions. In other words, God the Father here has promised universal dominion to his son. All the earth here will submit to his authority and rule will extend from shore to shore. And then in verse 9, finally, God has given Christ the authority here to deal with all insubordination and rebellion. The Bible says that he shall break with a rod of iron those that rise up against him, shattering them like a potter's vessel. From other scriptures, my friend, we learn that Christ will exercise his authority both when he returns to earth and throughout his thousand year reign. Prior to his inauguration as king, he will destroy those who do not know God and will not obey the gospel. Then in the millennium, Christ will rule with a rod of iron, punishing rebellion when it rises its ugly head. And then, my friend, we find in verse 10 and 11 that the voice of the Holy Spirit is heard here next. In a moving evangelical appeal he urges the kings of the earth and the rulers to love and to serve the lord jesus christ to refuse him means destruction whereas to trust him brings safety and true happiness and then we go down into verse 12 and it for man to trust his creator is the most sane and logical, reasonable thing that he can do. But on the other hand, to disbelieve and to divide the Almighty is about as irrational as a thing that a person can do. 
You know, the Bible says to choose you this day in whom you will believe. My friend, my question is, will you believe the heathen? Will you believe the people that imagine a vain thing? Will you believe the kings of the earth that set themselves and the rulers that take counsel together that are against the Lord and His anointing? Will you believe those that says, let us cast off his bands? There's a choice to be made in our lives. The Bible says that today is the day of salvation. My friend, we're not promised tomorrow. My prayer is today that if you're listening to me, and you do not know God, my prayer is that the Holy Spirit today will awaken the sin that is in your life, that grace would be awakened, and that the Holy Spirit would draw you unto the saving knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. My friend, there's no greater joy than knowing the Lord. There's no greater peace than knowing the Lord. There's no greater hope than in knowing the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's my prayer today, wherever you may be. I pray that God would just speak to your heart today. Whatever it is that you may stand in need of, I pray that today that He would speak to your heart. And I pray that throughout this week that in the book of Psalms chapter 2, that He has spoken to you in some way and that He has, through His grace, richly blessed you this week. Well, that's going to do it today for our study. Hope you can join us next time here on COC TV for our daily Bible study.